Hello besties, welcome back to my channel, welcome to today's date. I needed to do like a full shower because I'm also shooting content before I go and go on this date and I needed to wash my hair for that. So we're working with it. I literally just hopped out of the shower and I was like, let's set this up and get this started because it's all kind of like part of my getting ready technically. Putting in some leave-in conditioner because I need to go get my blonde touched up soon, clearly. And so I'm trying to like take care of it in the meantime so that they won't like try to suggest I cut it or anything like that unless I decide to you know the vibes but today's date is exciting it's so a little update on what the date is and then we'll do an update on dating life in general so today's date I'm going to get pizza with baseball boy I think he was from date number two I believe we have been texting a lot for like weeks like I think also like i'm sorry i'm so aggressive with my brush and i've just always been that way so disregard that but i have been texting him i think for like basically three weeks now which like since i last saw him which is very not my typical behavior and i first of all usually don't text in the beginning stages at all but especially not if i'm not seeing them because like typically i just be like okay man but i don't know there's something about baseball guy i feel like our sense of humors are just like very similar and just I don't know, his vibe makes me want to talk to him a lot, and I actually feel, like, very entertained by talking to him so much. Like, I feel like I have not been on this level of responding to someone and texting with them since, like, it's giving, like, 7th grade iPod touch era. Like, how much I'm texting this man back, which is just, you know, a lot to admit on the internet, but that is just my truth. But I'm going in with my BB thickening treatment, and then I'm going to brush my hair some more. But, yeah, basically I've just been talking a lot, but have not been on another date. And he asked me this weekend to do this, which today is like midweek when I'm filming this. So I'm very excited. I'm excited because I have kind of like high expectations because of like how our text conversations have been. If y'all watched the last video, I'm like right off a date where like things like really didn't click. And honestly, like it takes like one date where like the vibe is really not there that makes me like want to like never talk to a man or go on a date again. Nothing bad even happened. It just like the vibe was some people I go on a date and I'm like, we're probably just going to be friends, but the vibe isn't like no shot. The vibe in the last date was just like, I don't want to be offensive. I hope that person never watches it because there's literally, it's not a personal thing. It just like was not clicking. It was not, it wasn't the vibe for me. And after that day, I just like suddenly I remember I love being single. I love being single, you know? So I'm really hoping it's good because we text all the time and I think it'd be like, I don't know, surprising if those didn't go well, but you just never know. Um, and I like have genuine interest in baseball guy. So my pets are both at my feet being crazy. What is new? This is one of my favorite lotions. It's the EOS Vanilla Cashmere. So, so delish. So I need to put this on like my full body because I'm just so dry. I feel like winter is finally like really here as I'm filming this. So we gotta be taking care of ourselves, but yeah, also we're going to a pizza place that's like, I very recently tried it with my mom and it was, sorry, I'm putting lotion on my legs. Genuinely one of my like favorite places that I've eaten in a long time. So we're very down for that. This, okay, I give my dog all the toys in the world, all the snacks, and what he wants to lick is this lotion off my legs. So one second, I'm gonna kick him out. Oh, I can't do it. All right, I put my dog out with a toy out in my room. So hopefully he stays out there and doesn't come try to lick my lotion off, but yeah, so that's kind of an update with him. I just, I feel like we've also, because we've texted, it feels like I know him a lot more than one day in. Like we've had like a lot of the conversations about like deal breakers and stuff like that, which is just kind of like nice going into date because that's like already all been discussed kind of, or a lot of it. I know there's always like more to discuss, but a lot's been discussed. But also at the same time, I'm a little nervous because I'm like, what if his energy and his text in the first date like really match up? But what if I go on the second date and I'm like, okay, this is like not a person like that it feels like I've been texting you know what I'm saying one thing about me I'm gonna overthink so I'm overthinking it absolutely it'll be what it is but okay let's run through a little dating update in general so I texted the guy from the last date and because he like followed up twice I think after about going another one which is very nice and honestly like if dating teaches one anything it's that rejection is just not personal because it's not because he like needs to change anything it's just like we're just not a match but 
like when I send that text, it makes me think of like when I've gotten that text before, which I absolutely have. And sometimes it will feel so personal, but it's like, it's just genuinely not like, you're just not vibing. But anyways, I sent a text and told him that I just didn't really think another date was the best idea, that I like had a lot of fun, but I just don't personally think this is the right match for me to be like, keep going and pursuing something, you know? And I wanted to be like straight up about that and put it all on the table so nobody felt an answer. I feel like when I was younger, I always thought it was like better to ghost slash be ghosted. Like I genuinely thought that because you didn't like have to have like your feelings hurt of like ripping the bandaid off. But honestly, on both ends, that's so much better because I know when people rip off the bandaid for me and I'm like, honestly, like I just don't see a future with you. I don't waste my time anymore because I think it's just like a lot more stressful energy when you're like, do they like me? Do they not like me? And if you just know the answer is there on the table, you might as well also ask besties because they know if they're into you or not or if they actually see a future or not. So if you don't ask, like you're just like missing out on the secret that all the answers are already there. You're just not asking. So there's my dating tangent of the day. I need to do my eyelash extensions and then I will pop on to do my makeup. I'm going to do something simple because... We're literally just getting pizza, but I just took all my eyelash extensions off because as I'm getting ready for this date, I need to quick shoot some brand pictures that I do today before I go and I'll have like 30 minutes to do that. So I need to have like lashes and stuff on. For that, I'm just gonna put my Ardell ones on. But yeah, I'm gonna put these on off camera because it's not that fun to watch. And then I'll update you guys on like the rest of the guy things besides the guy that I ended things with and baseball boy, which I, like I said, I think like right now I feel like kind of a connection with. So, all right, besties, eyelash extensions are done. I didn't do them in the corner. I did them like a lot more natural and simple kind of because I don't know. I don't have my normal Flutter Habit Sweetheart ones that I use and I like those better, I decided. So I'm kind of just like using these for now and I would like to like switch them out soon. Anyways, so I just put three on instead of like all four and doing like the center piece and I kind of like just cut them up to make them a little bit smaller, but all right, we're gonna get started on makeup because we are in a little bit of a rush. But getting back to the boy update outside of that. So yes, I think we're calling him boy from history. That one we're not going to be seeing anymore. I do wish him the best though. Um, but updates on the other ones. I feel like, I think I said this in the coffee shop date video. I feel like a lot of the time I need like 48 hours to like figure out what I actually feel about a situation because just if it like wasn't horrible at first I'm like, oh, it's over like that was so good. Hope I see them again just because that's like almost like relief Um, but I think I have to think more about that coffee house date Um, there were some things I would need like more clarification on to Like I'm not gonna say what it is to like be down for a second date I think that probably just means for me that that situation's probably Done. He texted me after that date and said he wanted to see me again and you know, we haven't really said anything else to each other But I think thinking back on it, there were just some things that don't fully line up So yeah, I don't think I'm gonna go in on a second date with Coffee shop guy, but you know, we, we explored it. We saw we talked for like an hour and a half um, I just don't think that we're The perfect match and last time how I got clarification on what I was concerned about, but it's not something that I'm gonna like bring up um, that early on so yes there's that again nothing wrong with him just like looking for somebody who matches me not just as like a good person you know what i mean um the guy who i took to the black tie so i'm kind of in a little situation with that right now because i don't really know what i want to do about it so he had asked me to go to a wedding, but he asked me to go to this wedding like weeks ago. And then we don't really text at all in between. Like neither of us really say anything to each other. Um, and I don't know. I feel like we might just be a little different and I don't like know him that well. So it's hard to say, but I feel like we might, he might be more of like a formal person and I'm less of that, if that makes sense. I don't know. Again, it's nothing bad. He is literally so nice to me. I'm just like, I don't know. And then like he... Um, asked to take me so he invited me to that wedding and then he asked if like a few days before he could take me like dress shopping for it And that's just like it is again. It's so kind and so I probably sound like the worst saying this But I just feel like that's a little bit much especially because I don't know how I feel And so I don't want to like go and have somebody buy something for me when I don't even know If I'm going to like continue seeing them because I'm still Like I feel like I'm getting to know him like very slowly. Does that make sense y'all? Do I sound like the 
complain about the stupidest things for that. Like, it's not bad. I just like, don't even know what to say to him because that just, like, kind of overwhelms me a little bit. And I just, I don't want to let someone buy something for me, especially a dress. Um, that's just, like, not something that I mean to, but also, like, unless it's, like, somebody that I'm, like, actually dating, you know, or, like, things are serious with. And, like, we just don't really talk that much. And I just don't know how much our lives align. So that's kind of the tea. That could change, but I don't know. I'm just kind of feeling a little unsure about that situation right now. And I don't know. Since there's like these like very formal ask dates, I'm just like, I just don't know. Our date was so fun when you went to the black tie with me and like we vibed so well. I feel like it's more in the time apart and separation that I've been like, I just don't. I don't know if this is like the right thing for me. So those are kind of the updates i don't know if i forgot anything else um this is so odd for me all because usually even like if i like have one flirtatious conversation with somebody i will not see anybody else until that is over but you know it is making me like stay very picky and being like is this like a person that's just like a good person and it was a good day or are we like compatible like genuinely for both ends are we compatible or is it just somebody you know like that's what i'm really on a mission for to be fair to myself and be fair to them so I just don't know right now and that the like wedding and like dress shopping situation is like stressing me out which is such a stupid thing to stress me out I just don't want to like I don't know I don't want to make things so serious like do such serious I don't know I don't know I'm not, I'm not really making sense like I just don't really know what to do about that I don't know and I'm also like do I just feel weird because I just had a date where I like really didn't click and now I'm just like going on dates it just doesn't even <laughs> sound appealing right now I don't know why because the date wasn't even like so horrible it was just awkward and i'm like ah i don't know okay putting some glow drops on because we need to liven up but i think something that's like kind of confusing me right now is like that i'm like genuinely even though i feel like that in general towards guys right now like i don't even know baseball guy okay i do know him pretty well but i've literally only met him in person once but i'm like genuinely excited for tonight and i'm like excited to see him i'm not like making myself go and do this i'm like doing this just because i genuinely want to like i'm not doing this i'm trying to push myself out of my bubble or my shell or because i need to like throw myself out there like i really want to go tonight so i don't know i'll keep y'all posted my oversharing is like reaching a new extreme this is like so out of my norm because i don't talk about that, these things online but you know this is just your christmas special and then maybe i'll shell back up we'll see but yeah also my face is like low-key breaking out um Y'all know me, you know the vibes, that means I'm just about to get my period, so it's honestly yeah, fine. It's so funny, I was re-watching old videos in the background today while I worked, and I, like, forget how much I used to deal with acne, and now I, like, will, like, kind of complain when, like, my chin breaks out or whatever, and it's like, I have just, like, <laughs> dealt with much worse skin, like, I need to not be annoying about that, so sorry if I'm ever annoyed about, like, my two zits, because I've had a face covered in them before, and I know that feels like even though looking back it's also like oh my gosh i used to be like so insecure about that and watching this video like i don't even for real notice like it's not you don't look bad baby like it's just acne which is so so normal but yes i don't know what i'm wearing tonight for real like it's like a very much like a like i could wear a graphic tee to this place i could wear like a simple sweater i kind of want to wear a skirt because i just like, don't like pants on me but i have to wear like uggs with it to make it not dressy if i did that because this is not like fancy place which again i think that's also part of my issue which that just sounds like so stupid but i feel so formal in this situation with the steakhouse guy because i just like feel like it's been like very serious situations and like i'm just like somebody who would rather go get like taco bell than go to like a 200 dollars dinner i'm sounding so ridiculous right now and i'm so aware of it but i don't know that's why i'm just like is, is like that a situation that like lines up with like my personality and my sense of humor and stuff to be like so serious i don't know being the worst anyways let's stop letting me talk about myself being the worst also if you guys go back and watch my second day video if you haven't because that's who i'm going on this date with it's really funny because i wore that green set in before it to my friends i was like the boy i'm going to meet for the first time definitely doesn't think i'm wearing pjs because boys in fashion like i feel like if they see a matching set that's like loose they are gonna think it's pjs um and so i asked him i was like be honest did you think i was wearing pjs and he's like yes yeah. like i did not expect to see you in that when he walked out to me the Green is flag about my first date with this guy outside of like the conversations we've had 
since the first date was I loved that I parked my car and I always get so nervous like going and find them and he was like he already had a table and got us waters and everything but he was like I'll come outside and get you like that is my song you know and I just remember feeling like very sparkly after that date I hope I feel sparkly y'all wait for the update because what if this like goes like so south the sparkles will be gone and then we'll be back to like yeah okay anyways i kind of want to go in with heavier blush i'm gonna decide how i'm doing my hair it has to be done for this brand campaign thing anyway so i think i'm definitely gonna do more than a bun i'm thinking maybe like blow dry it and then actually curl it not just blow out but i don't know also i feel like a lot of my friends have started going on more like first dates and stuff lately and I love chatting with them about it because it feels like talking with you about these things. I feel like a lot of guys that I'm meeting said like all their friends are like married or in like very serious relationships. And like although I, like I've said, I feel like I'm in a place where I am ready for that if it was like somebody who was 100% the right match for me. Um, otherwise it like wouldn't be worth it to me at this point in my life. But if it was 100% the right match, I would. But I am very grateful that like my friends are all in like the same stage of life as me. And that's just like a kind of fortunate situation because it's so fun that we're like all debriefing our dates and things instead of like, I don't know, nobody feels like, and then like I have friends with boyfriends, but also it's just, I don't know. I don't have any like best friends that are married right now. And it's just kind of fun to all be in like the same boat. And I feel like it also helps us with the like exterior voices. Cause I feel like depending on where you live, like social media can be like, you get married and like have a kid at 23. And like, if that's not happening for you and you're watching all these people and you're like, what's wrong with me? But like, I don't know. I feel like I kind of just, I'm like, okay, if my friends are in the same boat as me, it's all good. There's no rush. And so I'm just like very thankful for that with my friendships. I will say, all right, I need to like re get my eyebrows done and my hair just like so many things you know what being a woman is just like so much self-maintenance which I guess you don't have to do but I like enjoy the self-maintenance things like getting my nails done getting my brows and getting my hair done but it kind of you know it can be a lot it can be a lot <laughs> I always have like foundation looks but I've like lashed up all over this also I'm really happy I'm going on a date with this guy tonight because he really is the only one that I've been like texting and so I'm kind of like, I want to see how a second date is because if we really vibe, obviously we vibe. But if not, I don't want to like keep spending so much time like talking to somebody online if it like isn't, you know, if it's like I go on a second date and I'm like, oh, what am I doing? All right, going to go in with a slip balm and then I'll put on like my Dior gloss and stuff when it's closer to leaving but like I still have that gap of work time so I'm just gonna put on this since I'll be working and stuff I actually really really like this Kaja lip gloss honestly and I like it just as much as the Dior one which is wild because I don't know the price on this but I'm sure it's significantly less than the Dior one like I don't know I just think this is really pretty all right besties update time I didn't talk to you while I was doing my hair because my mom called me and then I was like shoot I'm gonna be late but I just curled it and did a little headband because it's freshly washed I didn't want to put it up so I don't know I think it looks cute hopefully what do we think I don't know I kind of want to find earrings and I need to quick put some shoes on I think I'm gonna do my Uggs uh, my apartment is so messy right now but I clean when I get home um I think I'm gonna do my platform Uggs and like warmers I've worn this outfit a bajillion times it's literally on my instagram but it's just like a comfort go-to when i'm in a rush so i think it looks cute all right besties i'm ready i could not find my leg warmers i've been like running around because i didn't want to be late but i'm just wearing these taller socks and i told him to come like 10 minutes later that's on me but i'm going out closer to where he lives so i don't think it's a big deal but this is the fit addicted princess polly uggs i think i don't know anybody really wants to know where the headband's from comment below but it's just a plain black one but i honestly get wear all the time it gets a lot of wear out of it so and Anna Luisa jewelry we'll see I might vlog in the car might check in after I'm a little nervous so we'll all see right, besties this lighting is very tragic so we're gonna take this update inside but I just finished today I didn't get any video clips there it's hard when you're like I'm genuinely interested in him so I don't really like think about it even while I'm there um but yeah we have we have some unpacking to do so we'll chat when I get inside and home all right, besties, so sorry that the heat's on super loud. I'm like a little shaky because I was nervous. I don't know, I think it's just because I like actually did care for sure how this one went, but me looking around, it messed my pets made while I was gone. 
Anyways, the date was really good, I think. I get more in my head because I know at this point that I do have a genuine like interest in him. And so I feel like afterwards I like think about it a little. But um, he like asked in person to see me again and texted me. So, and I think I can like read his vibe at this point, I think. So yeah, it was really good. Pizza was delicious. It's like this green sauce and rice. Mm, I'm obsessed. I went there with my mom. So when he suggested that place, I was like, Absolutely, I'm so down. It was like 30 minutes away. I won't lie. So that was a little something because I am not the best driver at all. But we put in the work. We're putting in the work, ladies. So yeah, I don't know. I thought the conversation was easy. He has like my exact sense of humor, so it makes it a lot more casual to have talks about things because I can like read when he's joking and when he's not because it's like the same as mine or it feels that way. So yeah, we'll see what happens and moving forward. But I know I at least definitely do actually want to see him again. And I am, I wanted to see him again. So that's the tea. I'm going to cuddle my pets. I think I'm going to throw on a little Christmas movie. Get the vibes right, right, Stormy. But I love you guys so much. We'll see what happens next. Okay. I'm feeling, I'm feeling sparkly again, guys. I am. I think I just like, I'm in a weird vibe because I always, um, I always get in a little bit of a weird vibe after I go on a date with somebody that I like really care what they think afterwards. I'm like, ooh, ooh. <laughs> okay, I'll see you sunflowers on my next one though. Okay. <laughs>